Microsoft Dynamics SL 2015 adds new features in the reporting area. Let's take a look at just a few of them. First feature comes around reporting. The idea that when you are running a report like the chart of accounts, many times you don't want to see everything on that report. So we use our select tab to go ahead and choose a field. Prior to SL 2015, fields displayed in the following area. We see, see a table dot field which after we learn for a while can understand that this first one is the account but wouldn't it be nice if we could actually see a full description well here in sl 2015 we now have that description now we see that the description is the gl chart of accounts code excellent so we have to see for that account that it is the chart of accounts but also we have another field that lets us know it's called the report field what this field allows me to know is is this field even being displayed on the report? I know that this is a table that's being used, but is that field actually on the report? So we know that whether to choose it to be able to sort and select our information on the report. Now, great for a chart of accounts, but how about reports like the trial balance? Now, they don't use a single table. They use something called a view. Basically, a view is a joining of multiple tables. So looking at that name, you'd probably say, wow, I really can't figure that one out either. So we have added that ability to look at a field, give its full description, this is the account, whether that report is field is actually on the report, and then we have an additional field called the source field. This is a great bit because as we said, views are combinations of different tables put together. We can see exactly where did this come from. Great for understanding if you need to make some adjustments to your report or changes to it. You can quickly understand exactly what's involved. Now the next thing is now that we have or, and are able to select the right field is to go ahead and choose our operator. Operator being, for example, equal. I'm looking for the accounts that equal this value. Now prior to SL 2015, you would have to go in and remember the right value. With SL2015, I'm happy to say now we have a full lookup list of values. So now we can see a list of all the values that are available in this system. So I can just click one and it's automatically loaded for me. Great way to know that when I'm selecting something, it's going to put something that's actually a valid value in the system and hopefully return me what I'm looking for. There are other operators and we've enhanced actually the interface for them as well because between I can't remember is it value comma or do I put it in quotes what do I need to do well that's been done for you here all I need to do is choose my first value go to the second field and choose my second value once I've chosen that I click OK and it automatically builds it for me in the screen great great now what if it's something like an n? So n is usually multiple values. How do I build that again? Again, a brand new interface to allow you to do so. So now I can go in and add another field. Or if I know a value and I don't want to search for it, I can go ahead and type it right into the screen. Click on add to list and now it is in my list of valid values. Now my report will go ahead and be able to preview and show me the information that I'm looking for. Now, you might say to yourself, that's really great now that I have fields that actually display information that makes sense to me, but what if I don't like the description that you're using and I just want to tweak it for my particular company? Well, we've created a table just for that. The screen's called the Field Description Maintenance Screen, and all I need to do is go in and choose a field, like the Account table, and then I choose one of the fields that are listed. So let's say, you know, GL chart of account code, that's too long. I just want to make it shorter. So I can click OK. Now I've loaded into the screen that this is the field I'm interested in. And now I can go ahead and type in the value that I want. So now I've got in it. Now when it displays in the lookup list for the reports, it's going to say account code. Now what about those other fields like user fields? So let's go ahead and look for a user field. In the new lookup list, in the PV lookup list inside of SL2015, we've added some new functionality to help us get to the information quicker. So now we've got an ability to type in a filter. So if I wanted to get to my user field, I could just type in the U or the US, and it takes me right to the values in there. Now that I've seen it, yep, that's what it is, user one. I know that's what it's called in the system, but you know what, user one to me actually means something different. 
So if I go and put that in there, now I can type in that. In my case, the value user1 actually means location. So now I'm able to save this. Now when I go forward and select a field, instead of seeing user field, it will now say location. So we've got all that information stored in there for me. Now another thing that we've had prior is the ability to be able to look at a report, preview it, and then email a copy of it. Now the report writer that we used prior uh, in pre previous versions removed this functionality, but we are happy to add it back here in 2015. So we've actually written the code so that you're inside a report and you're previewing it, whether it's the report that you see type that you see here or an SSRS report, you have a new button enabled, which allows you to go ahead. It'll pull up and say, okay, you're running your trial balance. What would you like to save it as? Well, I'm gonna send it as a PDF so somebody can view it, but not change it. I click OK, and then it interacts with my email client. In this case, it'll inter like interface with Outlook, allows me to automatically attaches it to a document for me or an email. And I just need to go ahead and type in my email information, and I'm ready to go ahead and send it. Now, the next area is around the idea of reports, and we've been looking at reports. And inside of a report, you have the idea of different formats. So for example, if I pull up a report like the GL transaction report, you'll see that inside of SL, we've defined out of the box four different types of formats, and we call these report formats. This means that when you pull up this report, you will have a drop-down box that allow you to choose any of these different values. Now, prior to 2015, there was a limitation. You could only have eight different formats. Well, we've removed this, as you can see. We have a full grid that allows us to add as many as we need. So we can add as many as we need to the system. Now we have more. Great functionality. You still have the same abilities to set your control options, custom fields. That's the same as we've had in the past. The big thing here, again, adding as many as you'd like. Now you might say to yourself, well, Jeff, with these new functionality, this custom one and custom two, I'd like to be able to make one of these the default format. Well, do I need to delete everything and re-enter it in? Well, I'm happy to say you don't have to do that. Here inside of Dynamics SL, we've added yet another screen to help you with this, and it's called the Default Report Format Maintenance Screen. What it allows me to do is in this case, I could define for a company that when you pull up a specific report, I want a specific format to be defaulted. Doesn't mean I can't change the default format, but it just lets me set up what the default should be. In this case, you can see I've set it for three different reports for the company CBS, well, but I also have an option to actually set it up for all companies. So I could say for all companies, when you run the trial balance report, what I want you to do is to go ahead and default to the debit and credit totals. So now I've saved that, and you can see I can do it again for all companies or just for one. Now, once that information is saved, if I go into that report, when I pull it up, you see that it has defaulted to debits and credits. Now I can go ahead and change it to combined totals, but again, it's a nicety that I can have it set to the value that we are generally going to use when you're using our product. So there's are just some of the new enhancements here in SL 2015. I hope you enjoyed them and talk to your partner about some of the other great things that are available to you here in SL 2015.